Hi, I'm Executive Chef Doug Heinford of the Saskatoon Inn. We're in our courtyard room today and with a little bit of luck, we're going to pull out a rainbow trout and I'll teach you how to fillet a fish and make a beurre blanc sauce that goes really good with it. And here we go, we got a little bite. And there we go, rainbow trout and beurre blanc. All right, well, we're back from the creek. Um, we've gutted and degilled our uh, trout. One thing you want to look for on a fish, one, it shouldn't smell fishy, and two is the nice clear eyes that you can see this one has. Um, once you start getting a little cloudy, you know your fish is getting old. So the simple process in filleting a fish is to uh, go behind this fin right here, cut up to the back of the neck, right through, again, the same thing to the other side, just in behind the fin, and up through the head. Now you're gonna see there's the backbone here. There's a couple of ways of filleting. One, you can just, we're gonna make a cut right along the back and you can follow this rib cage here. Or what a lot of the um, fish mongers do is you just go right through the backbone, along the back here. And then once you get past this dorsal fin, poke your knife through and through. So here's the backbone right here. I'm just gonna go in and follow in behind the rib cage. And there's the backbone exposed right there. Take the rest of this. Out there. There's one fillet. And then the same thing on the other side. We're just gonna cut on the other side of that. We've come out here. along the backbone. There are those, that, there's the rib cage again, and we're just gonna come out. And what's left is the ribs and this backbone. We're just gonna clean this fish up a little bit, cut out some of the belly. There's another piece of cartilage holding on to that fin. And again, the same with the other side. Let's clean up that belly a bit. Make that look nice. So now we got the filet left. A lot of people don't like bones in their fish. So right here, you'll notice there's a few pin bones. You can either use um, a set of um, needle nose pliers, or I have these little um, tweezers here and I'm just getting rid of these bones. If you take the back of your knife, scrape along it, you can just expose all those pin bones. Then it's just easy pulling and go at a 45 degree angle away from the fish meat so you're not pulling out part of the meat. I like to leave the skin on and I will on, on this piece. Um, if you want to remove it, Fairly simple process. So you make a little cut down towards the skin. Basically you're angling your knife towards the skin and just sawing back and forth. And pulling the skin at the same time as you go back and forth. And there's the skin. This is nice if you put it between uh, a couple of pieces of um, tile or something heavy, maybe two cookie sheets in your kitchen. Um, cut the ends off. Put that between two tile, put it in an oven at about 300 degrees and you'll get a nice crispy um, fish skin. This is where all your omega-3s are, a lot of nutrients in that piece of the fish. So the one we're going to do today, we'll use this piece. I like to score the skin a bit, just gives all the flavors back into the fish, the salt and the pepper. And it also allows the skin to get a little crispy. So this one is ready for the pan. But this, before we start the fish, we're gonna start our beurre blanc sauce. And basically a beurre blanc, a typical French, classical French dish, goes great with fish. What we'll do is we'll start with a pan. We'll put in 
some shallots, finely minced shallots, and a little bit of oil, not too much. What we're gonna do is saute the onions um, till they're soft, we're just gonna sweat them a bit. And then to that, we're gonna add a good splash of white wine, and then about the same amount of white wine vinegar. Your whole kitchen is gonna smell delicious like as this renders down. The idea now is to reduce this down into a, um, till it's almost dry. We're gonna take out the shallots and then to that we're gonna add cold butter knobs. And this will thicken it into a, a nice sauce and then of course season it with salt and pepper. All right, well you see now we've come down, it's, it's reduced down now to it's where it's almost dry. So we're gonna take that off the heat, put it through a strainer, because the shallots have now done their job and that flavor is infused into this white wine and white wine vinegar. So we'll set that aside, because all we're gonna do to that now is add cold butter knobs, get it heat, uh, heat it up and then it'll thicken. So let's start cooking our fish. As always, salt and pepper. So add a little bit of oil. And then to the pan, skin side down. Okay, so I've left the fish alone. I'm about to flip it over and the reason the reason I know it's time to flip it over is you can see along the sides here, the fish has all gone white. So I know it's cooked from the bottom this far up. I'm just gonna finish it now. When I'm saying that 70-30, I can tell from years of cooking fish that the bottom is cooked and I just got this about 30% top here left to, left to go. So I'm just gonna flip that over. You see we've got some nice caramelization on the skin. It's uh, done its job. And I'm just gonna finish it on this side probably for about two more minutes and then it's coming off the heat and our beurre is going back on to heat up our reduction and then we'll add some butter knobs and be ready to plate. All right, our fish is cooked on the other side. I can tell it's got a nice caramelization again and it's white all the way up. So we'll just take that off the heat. I'm gonna leave it in that pan and let that skin continue to crisp up for a bit. I'm gonna add our white wine reduction here again, white wine and vinegar. It's gonna heat it up a bit. And then I'm gonna add the cold butter knobs, which the French term for that is uh, monte de beurre. Basically adding cold butter. It has to be cold butter knobs. That's what'll provide the thickening. If I used uh, a, a room temperature, it just doesn't work quite as good. So bring that back up to temperature. So we've heated up our reduction. I'm gonna turn that off now and keep it right off the heat. The thing when you're adding butter for a thickening, if you were to add it while the heat was still going, it will separate and break. So the heat's got, it's gotta be off the heat. And if you're gonna wait for service now, um, stick it in a, what's called a bain-marie, a little bit of um, hot water in a pot, and then this in another pot. Almost like a double boiler kind of idea. So I just keep adding cold butter knobs, of course a little bit of seasoning, salt and pepper. And whisking that down. The heat of the reduction and the heat of the pan will melt the butter. It's a very classical dish, very old dish. Um, it's got a, a tartness to it, but through that reduction, we do get rid of some of that vinegary taste. It does intensify, but it, uh, the butter just smooths it all out. So it's kind of a balance between um, the creaminess of the butter and the tartness of the white wine and the white wine vinegar. All right, well, we've got our butter incorporated in there. So now it's time to plate up. So what I've done here is I've just got some uh, Italian flat parsley and some lemon wedges. It's fair, it's sort of a dated look. It's a little bit 1950s, but because I'm using such a classical French sauce, I thought I'd go with a nice classical French presentation. 
So we have our fish, and then we're just gonna pour the beurre blanc right on top. There you go, we've got Saskatoon in, lakeside rainbow trout with a classical French beurre blanc sauce.